Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the scale knot, which is one of my absolute favorite knots. It is something that can be worn to formal events as well as dress down events, and it's just really eye-catching. It's guaranteed to make you the center of attention. I will warn you in advance that it does look best, in my opinion, on a lighter colored tie. It allows you to catch all the different intricate details. Uh, if you would like a more subdued look though, you can go with a darker tie like this one here. Uh, I would say if you plan on using a pattern tie, try to go with something that's more of a moderate pattern and a lighter color to be able to catch the detail because the more busy the pattern is, like this one here, the less detail you can catch. Let's dive right in. So you guys can see I've already got my shirt up and my tie around the neck. Uh, the large end here is the blade and the thin end is the tail and this baby is reversed for your viewing pleasure. So uh, that means that my right is also going to show on your right and my left is going to show on your left. Now to begin this knot, we're going to ensure that the tip of our blade sits right between the belly button and the belt line. Now you can lower it a little bit lower to the belt line, but that's entirely up to you. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and place my finger directly in the middle of the blade, which is a large end, and we're gonna slide our uh, middle finger and thumb to the outside and just gradually pinch in towards the middle. Now that will create a dip or a divot right here in the middle and from there you're just going to slide your index finger out. That will create your power crease. From there you're going to pull it to the center and we're going to take our tail end in the opposite hand or my left hand here and I'm going to cross it over the right hand side. Now, once I've done so, I'm just going to wrap around the back like so. Still holding my uh, power crease in place, at least until this first round is over. And we're going to bring this up and through the center to the top. Now, you guys can see, because I have my chin up, it allows me to tie this tie uh, much more tight up here so I would suggest when you're tying your ties try not to look down at it like this it will cause your knots to be down here and then you end up with a really wonky length tie at the end all right so now that we've got that bit that's gonna kind of start out our tie so I'm gonna come over to this right side now and we're just gonna bring it straight across the neck now from there I'm gonna place my finger straight up and we're going to bend this tie upwards so we're gonna create almost like an L or you can even create like this here it's entirely up to you but basically you're gonna go ahead and fold across bend up like so and you're just going to go right through the middle section and off to the left so we begin on the right now we're coming off to the left as you pull it from the back you'll notice that you can center it a bit more which is exactly where you want it from there, we're going to do the same thing from the opposite side. Bring it across the middle, place your finger on in there, and curve it upward, and tuck through the center, through the front again. Now you guys can see, I love the way these look on gold neckties. It just does something extra for it. Uh, I will say, if you're a taller gentleman, you'll notice you're not able to do as many of these, or if your neck is slightly larger, I do have uh, about a 15 and a half to 16 inch neck. So if you have a larger neck, you may have a difficult time with some of this and you might need a custom length tie. If you do, I would suggest going to the CorbinCollection.com. I'll put links in the description box below. They create awesome custom ties and they've just got great quality stuff. So we're continuing that same pattern. This is a really simple knot, you guys. From the right, I'm coming around to the left. Alright, now you guys can see I've got a bit of tail left here, but I just don't see that fitting comfortably. So I'm going to stop where I'm at. And what I want to do is take my very first round. I'm going to pull that down from the back. So we're just going to slide this baby down it'll create a little pocket right here in the back and we're just going to insert the tip of the tail 
right through there and slide that through. Now, as I'm doing that, I can kind of hold that baby in place some and I'll just want to tighten up a bit here. So after I've done that, you guys can see it's kind of looking a little wonky. So what you want to do is reach on underneath there and just make some adjustments. So we'll pull on down from there, pull on down from these two here. And to me, you kind of want to pull these out so you see those lips from the sides. I just think that it does an extra something for it. And from there, we can pull that collar right on down. Now to adjust this knot, if you need to scoot it up, hold onto the bottom of the knot like this here and then pull the blade right on down. And that should put that right at about the belt line, as you guys can see right here. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you have any special requests of other ties you would like for me to show, let me know that as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more tutorials like this. And until next time, you guys, take care. God bless. You're fancy now. Bye. And don't forget to check out these videos right here. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, you can also click right here. Bye-bye, you guys.